Hello guys and welcome to Primecraft! Welcome to Primecraft! Today we are going to finally wrap up our rabbit stew project by uh, doing some rabbit stew factory construction here. So basically we're gonna build the factory today. I'm gonna just uh, to begin with go through what is going to happen here. So um, we have uh, three farms here. We have the carrot and potato farm, we have the rabbit's uh, meat farm, and we have the mushroom farm. Uh, each one of these are going to uh, have a water stream from them, uh, leading to somewhere around here. And uh, here there's going to be an item elevator, so that all of the items end up up here in this little building. And this is where we're going to have our little factory. Uh, but there are several kinks in this uh, idea, so we're gonna talk about them uh, briefly here. First of all, this shiny rabbit farm uh, drops rabbit meat, but also rabbit hide and also rabbit feet. So we need an item sorter down there to just let through the rabbit meat. Uh, this farm drops uh, carrots and potatoes, but it also drops uh, poisonous potatoes or bad potatoes, as can be seen. Uh, not here. Okay, I've, th I've thrown them away. But I've thrown them away. But uh, you know, potatoes sometimes go bad. So we need an item filter underneath these hoppers here to uh, toss out the poisonous potatoes and just send it uh, through the carrots and normal potatoes. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, and I hope you're all right, guys. I hope you're all right. I have just gotten back from Sweden. And uh, things are a little bit hectic uh, around here, so um, I'm uh, maybe a little bit stressed, but other than that, I'm fine. Down here, somewhere, is where I have the tunnel that we're going to use as our main chute. So this is uh, leads up to the carrot, uh, sort of to the um, uh, rabbit farm, and then there's going to be a tunnel sort of bearish. And another tunnel maybe here-ish, that leads to the um, other two farms, basically. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bore you with uh, building an item filter and stuff like that on um, on camera, because you've all seen them before, but uh, here is the rabbit um, output. So underneath here we're going to have an item filter first of all, and then we're going to have a little ice stream here and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll get going and uh, give you a little update in a minute. So this should do the trick. We have here an item sorter. I just need to go and get a rabbit meat thingy. Now the thing is, there is a di dilemma here. And that is uh, that at the moment I don't have a sword with um, flame on it. So in the end I want to have... Um, in this here hopper I want to have a cooked rabbit, but for now it's gonna have to be a raw rabbit. So yeah, this sorts out that. And I moved it a little bit, so it does sort it out on the way into this collection chest. So the other things, such as rabbit hide and rabbit feet, should still end up in that chest. Next up, we have here uh, the item filter leading into a dispenser. And from the dispenser there's just a little circuit that shoots the items out as they come in. And uh, yeah, they go down into this tube here, and that tube is, is exactly where we want them to go. And I also built this little access way. Uh, so let's see, do we have any rabbits? No, I need to feed them. Okay, so I'll feed them and get some ice, and then we will sort out the mushroom, the mushroom trail. Oh, just in case you haven't seen me feed them, I can do it on camera, maybe. You just press the button, and off you go. Whoops, you eat carrots, apparently. <laughs> wow, my sound sounded really weird then. I wonder if that sounds weird in the video as well. Okay, we're at the mushroom farm, and we are at Y67. We need to go down to Y59, and then go south. From this chest so let's see uh, it should be fairly straightforward here i think it should be just to go straight on uh, let's see we're here at 
65. So we need to go down one, two, three, four, five, six blocks to 59. And then just go straight this way. Let's check down the torch. Why do I have a whole stack of mushrooms in my... Okay, never mind. Let's just not dwell on it. Accept and move on. <laughs> so we should run into the other tunnel here, actually. Uh, fairly soon as well. And then we just uh, have to have a dispenser that dispenses out the items, the, the mushrooms, and some ice on the floor. So this should be a very straightforward one. Uh, and it's dark. Where are these my torches? Starting to feel long. Oh, I threw my. <laughs> okay, fine. Throwing things around. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, over here is the uh, what we just built, the um, rabbit thing, and this is the other thing. We actually need to shave off one more on the ceiling here, because we're going to have ice on the floor so that we can walk in here. It's always nicer to be able to walk. So it's going to... yeah. Yeah. I think uh, what we'll do is we'll have... Uh, we'll have the water stream starting in there and then we'll have ice on the floor like this making it dark again now aren't I curse of YouTube making all the videos dark let's fix it wow lightning lighting glitch so, yeah, so the water will start there. We'll just have a shoot here, really, just like we ha uh, have on, on the other side there. Uh, you heard the mushroom farm trigger. Anyway, I'll fix this up, and we shall have a look. Okay, finally we are here at the potato and carrot farm. And we need to go again down to 59. It's a bit further this time, but we can just drop things in from up top. To here, and then uh, it shouldn't be too far, it should just be a couple of blocks. Torch. Um, oh, and I'll take screenshots. <laughs> Meant to press number two, not F2. Silly computer. So there we go, that's that. Now, I did uh, finish off this, although I had to turn it off because I haven't done the water streams yet. So otherwise, I would have lost all my mushrooms. So up here we can now see there's a dispenser and a chute leading down here. And when there's water here, that'll just flush the shrooms out here. So we'll do something very similar here. And then over here, once we have the water streams and that in, we'll just uh, chuck in an item elevator to get all our items up. So that'll be water on this level, so we can't have a torch there. But we can have a torch there, and the water will start there. Right, you know what, I'm gonna sort out the water streams as well. And when I'm done, I will show you the finished product, and we will build the item elevator quickly. Now, you know what guys, when we're done doing water streams, I'm not gonna uh, haul around... Uh, I'm not gonna haul around uh, water buckets, am I? So I'm gonna buy some regular ice one stack for two diamonds just need to find my diamonds <laughs> um you know we've been doing fairly well with the rabbits to shop and that oh in fact yep there we go so let's grab a stack one stack two diamonds i think that's fairly pricey to be honest now while we're here in spawn we might as well check on our little rabbits to business and also on the log shop since we're here so let's have a look here. Oh, crikey me. 37. How can it be 37 diamonds? Oh, no, never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Somebody has been uh, purchasing tons of stuff. That is cool. Although it means we have to chop some more oak. Acacia. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> The mother load and birch. We need everything basically. So let's see. I think uh, the best way to get down here is here <laughs> at the moment. Um, 
and uh, somebody has bought two bits of stew. I think we're still stocked reasonably well, but uh, we should be able to make more today, of course. Whoops. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so I'm not quite done with the water streams yet, that's because I want to measure them properly. So, we're going to have this um, dispenser here, and into it, um, and that's uh, right below the where we want to have the factory itself. And the right, uh, leading into it is going to be two hoppers, so we want the water to stop here. Do we? Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Now, we want the water to stop here. Yep, and then we need to have block here and here, and we'll build the water stream later. That's fine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so we put a sign here. I, I guess signs are still alright. Well, I'll put it on that side. So then if I put water here. Uh, that should reach all the way. Yep, that's nice. Okay, cool. So yeah, yeah, and then we have one thing here. We need a sign here then. And we need a... Yeah, we'll put a sign here then maybe. And have a thing here. <laughs> a thing, eh? A water thing. Like that. And let's just sort out this uh, this side as well while we're at it. We might as well chuck a, a uh, sign here, water here, and then uh, another one here, and another water. So the, the 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 tricky part really is just getting the corners to uh, be all right. This should be fine, for instance. Uh, although I will, oh, uh, cool. I will need a sign here. So now we can sort this section out. We'll chuck a sign here and some water. Water. And that's not going to be enough, is it? Uh, so we'll put another another sign here. Should be fine, and another water. Yeah, that should be fine. Although I might move that later, but so now what remains is just this little section here, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, hmm. Although in this case the things will come that way, so I'll probably prefer putting the sign there. It's just because there is this uh, little chance that things will get stuck on the signs, I guess. So that should sort the water streams out. Now all we need to do is make sure I can get out. <laughs> um, and I can. Okay, actually let's put this type of material here. So, where are we at now? Now all we need to do is dig out a little bit here to make a hopper clock for this thing. Item elevator thing. <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I built one of them uh, in the last episode I think, so I'll just do it off camera. Okay, so that is the item elevator done. And uh, now I want to test it. I'm gonna go over to the mushroom bit here and just chuck an item in and that I... whoop! <laughs> that item... What is this? Some sort of c convention? The item should um, end up by the rabbit form. If I can get... Oh, just, okay, never mind. You just carry on, guys. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the, this is obviously up disabled at the moment. If I remove that and chuck in one stone brick, okay? 
Now we should have one stone brick over by the factory. Hey man, he's like a permanent resident now, unless he goes out to get a tan. Will it work? Will it work? There's nothing. Oh, yeah, there is. Look at this. So yeah, now we can take care of these things here. Um, I still have a hopper. Uh, do I have a chest? No. Let's make a chest. Um, so my idea for this uh, section here, apart from building a house, which I probably, to be honest, will do off camera. Um, my idea for this uh, function wise is to basically let the things collect in in a um, in one chest here or oh, well in several chests maybe <clears throat> but just uh, all of the different items collected in one chest because uh, if you if and then if we have for instance a crafting table here which actually might be a really good idea um, we can just uh, pick up all the stuff we need go here and craft it and then maybe we can have some hoppers around here or we can just chuck the things in uh, so I guess that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to do some more tests. I'm going to make sure that all of the things work here. And um, yeah, actually, maybe I should uh, I should just make this a bit taller and have some several chests instead of just one as well. Hmm. We seem to be having a little bit of an issue, uh, except for the part where it's night, then that things seem to end up here on the. Um, yeah, here, basically. <laughs> I don't know if I need to have another hopper here, maybe, or something like that. Yeah, maybe I need to do that. Uh, but, first of all, we need to sleep. <laughs> and then, I think we're getting somewhere here. Um, I need to uh, decide how far I'm going to bring this today, uh, depending on how much time we got left. I'm getting shot at again. <laughs> Okay, I've just uh, turned on the mushroom um, thing, and as you can see, that seems to be working fine. We should see shrooms coming in. I moved all the things that I had here already into these chests. And yeah, the um, the solution here to this little dilemma was, uh, like I said, was to add another hopper and then have a airspace up here. And you can see that shrooms and other things come up there unless you stand around. In which case stand up in your inventory. So there we go, I've added this. I forgot one thing actually. <clears throat> we need to out to cook all the potatoes that come out of there. Uh, but I'll add that later on. That just needs to go through some sort of furnace thing. And we need to be able to fill up with fuel as well. So yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Where did he come from? Oh, I just got creeper so bad. And he was standing right in front of me as well. He must have dropped down from um, the item filter or so the, the item elevator or something like that. Oh, did he blow up the whole thing now? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh my days. This is really bad. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix it. Uh, this off camera. This is gonna have to be it for today, guys. Sorry. Um, if you, <laughs> I'm all out of balance now. If you enjoy this video, please comment. Tell me what you think of my rabbit stew factory, and uh, like it and share it, and subscribe to me. I like when you do that. <laughs> but for now, I have a mess to clear up here. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.